So even though it's Saturday, we're still in school because it's boarding school. We have a half day Wednesday and a half day Saturday. <clears throat> and the second half of both of those days are sports days. Um, so this morning, typically we have classes in the morning on Saturday, but this morning we gave the kids a sleep in and then we had some specific time with our advisory group to talk about healthy relationships. In my group, we went out to Lake Sunapee uh, where one of the students in my advisory has a house and we had a nice brunch and then we sat out on the docks and we talked about what it means to have a healthy relationship as a teenager and the sexual double standard and it was actually really great. And then we just I just drove back everybody back to campus and it's right around noon, lunchtime, and then there'll be some kayaking this afternoon. Yes! <laughs> Back from kayaking, the boys and I are just hanging out outside. Such a nice day in September here. I'm tired now from all that water. So here's my like uh, simple attempt to show you some of chalk up here. So here's chalk up. I'm in the grading platform. I'm blocking out kids' names. And you can see over here that they've turned in. Um, there's, those are some attached files to an assignment that came right from Google Drive, which is pretty sweet. Good integration there. And when I click on the document, it brings me into this, which is pretty amazing. And I can also go up here and I can click on the rubric. And it pulls up a rubric for me. So now, a rubric that I set up ahead of time. So as I'm grading this, I can be reading this, but I can also move this out of my way like this and I can read and then I can hit this and this and grade. And as soon as I save it, they get a notification. It's a pretty awesome way to, um, to give them feedback without giving them a numerical grade. Another thing I got turned on to today was fantasy geopolitics. It's kind of like fantasy baseball or fantasy football. It's a great way to teach kids about the news. So you know, you have like a draft and the kids draft countries and then based on the mentions, they get certain points. I had no idea this even existed. So there's drafting, there's scoring, there's a league dashboard, you can trade countries. It's just a neat kind of competitive way for kids to learn about current events. And I, you know, just a shout out to one of my friends, uh, Merrill on Story, who pointed this out to me. So awesome. I've been playing around with this and definitely going to use it in my class this term. So late night at boarding school like 8 45 9 o'clock at night there's the turf lights are on so there's some kids who are going to be playing like ultimate frisbee out here and there's also a dance going on which i'm going to go get some footage of 